Hey Realm Walkers, I am Cerebus Orbus, and I hope you're having a good day today. And if not, come and hang out. This is now episode 13 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And uh, it's been, it's been good, it's been good. It's only gonna get hard, and um, looking forward to it. Looking forward to learning how to actually deal with a lot of these problems rather than just kiting all the time. Although that's not exactly a bad tactic. That keeps us alive and that keeps us going. So, um, yeah, you may have noticed that the shack is a little bit different. And that is um, because I made some upgrades. And if you haven't seen that video, it's a cozy crafting video. It's up on my channel. I'll, I'll link it somewhere in the corner, probably. And go check it out if you haven't already. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to give you a quick tour right now. So I expanded out two squares forward, and just kind of to give us more breathing room. Also more room for decorations. Um, I built this here alchemical boiler to take care of a quest kind of off camera. I just didn't want to have to deal with it. Just, it was just give one person three, three things, three potions. Not important at all. And um, I made this chaparral trophy so that we can cook grilled fish. It's, you know, pretty good food. It's better than roasted meat. And then we made more storage. Basically, uh, raw goods. A tier 0 and tier 1 go in here. Tier 2 go up in here. See, there's chitin and some high fibers wood. Ooh, we need desert wood. Uh, the refined stuff, anything that is pliable, goes up here. So things like leather, wire, wicks, threads, go up here. And refined solid stuff goes in here, such as iron ingots, glass, stuff like that. These two is just miscellaneous. And out here is the garden. A very small and meager garden. I kind of like it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I do wish that I could put... If I could put foundations on a lower level, if that makes sense. Like... If we could, like, place up against it, but also lower it like down so that it was you know like this this height except except snaps the actual grid sadly we can't have that so oh well. this is fine though and you'll notice these two which is just the agricultural basket and the rain barrel which work great we'll put those back in there. Um, what do we want to grow though? Ooh, we have chamomile. We grow this. We start growing the chamomile now. Um, same with the water. Actually, do we have sunflowers? We do have sunflowers. We can also grow some spinach. So I'll throw one spinach, Oops. one chamomile, two sunflowers, and one spinach for now. It's raining, so we don't have to water it ourselves. Nice. Sorry, I realized just a second ago that we were starting to starve and we were actually out of provisions. So let's uh, chop and seal them down. Let's make us some new plants.
Alright, now that we've had a snack and a quick nap, it's time to go into the desert astrolabe. This is going to be rough. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so do we go for the Fate Tower now? Victor Frankenstein. Let's uh let's go talk to him. And then head to the tower. Ooh. Oh wait a minute. Do we let's make a camp first. And voila, it is done. It's not bad, but you know, it's usual. I like how it kind of blends into the tree limbs. And, um, what was it doing? Right. We're going to go and talk to Mr. Franklin. Whoa. That was a while. Get a little closer. <sighs> Fighting in the sun's going to suck. Suck the hard shot. Uh oh. Oh, we did. Okay. Oh, and it's breaking. Of course it is. Oh, fuck about that open. Thanks, elephant buddy. Probably should have repaired our uh, our knife before going in there, huh? Yes. Let's do that now. Oh, are you kidding? Hey, uh, elephant? We really could use your help here. Dang. That's just missed right there. Screaming pretty hard. Oh, 
punch. Ah, oh, I hate how they do that. There you are. Oh, there's two of them. This is going to be exhausting. Ow. Empty. Yeah. One more out there somewhere. How do we not have stamina? Over oh, overheated. Okay, now we can get to the reward. That was hard fought for for one of these tiny things. Ugh. Such is the nature of extremes. It's almost like every fight is impossible. Malice infusion and 41 tier 1 instances. Let's look at this first before we claim any of that. In case we need a soaring or something like that. See, like that. We're gonna need a soaring. Okay, I'll go through that in a second. This is a defend? Really? Look at all the ways in. Ah, jeez. Oh, but this is probably fun, though. I would only, pro I would, I want to try one of these, but I'm gonna have to try it with a uh, recruit, and give him a hammer so that they can repair this. This looks fun, though. Still, not gonna try it today. Okay, let's go get that sword.
if you don't have soaring, the, the actual puzzle, like actually solving this, requires the trickster minor realm card. You have to jump up top of that head, onto here, out onto this platform. It's, um... It can be challenging without soaring. <coughs> really just get soaring, because this is the best way to do anything. Any of these agility puzzles. This is Frankenstein's lab. This is awesome. Anyway, we need to put some food in this. Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do a quick screenshot. Because that's, um... That's awesome. That is just phenomenal looking. And we can go do the Fate Tower afterwards. Let's go talk to Victor. Giant treasures that you want to share? No? Guess not. I've come to despise fieldwork in the autumn of life. Out here, there are no laboratory doors that I can lock myself behind to avoid these persistent disruptions. When the mind is tasked with deliberation, solitude is indispensable. Sorry to interrupt. What are you deliberating? I am Victor Frankenstein, and it's the secrets of heaven and earth I desire to learn, both the outward substance of things and the inner spirit of their nature. I am attempting to ascertain greater understanding of these pitiable, wandering imitations of life, which many classify as automatons. I do so to support Nellie Bly with her endeavor. Nellie Bly? Someone else told me to find her. <laughs> One of the responses was, uh, only a fool dabbles in automatons. So I chuckled. Uh, if you can make your way to Miss Bly, I advise her to do so. She's made it her warrant to aid those who have been set adrift in these strange lands. Nothing is so painful to the human mind as a great and sudden change, and she hopes to serve the role of solace in our time of mass transition. What are you trying to gain from these automatons? Nellie and I are compelled by the makeup of a unique charm oil secreted by the bishop. This substance is capable of generating profound amounts of electricity. Oh. What I'm hoping to uncover is the precise means by which we might be able to obtain this oil without deactivating them entirely. I'd like that as well. If we can become friends with bishops, all the better. I'd rather not fight those things. So far I've gleaned little by glossing over what texts are available. My thoughts are being pulled in two directions, you see which is not conducive to either of the du dueling means before me. He yawned openly. You seem overwhelmed. More than the language has the ability to convey. Before encountering Nelly, I was meant to be devoting my time in the realms to a robust study of and laborious disquisition on our, one, on our new common enemy, the Bound. I've taken on a few Bound myself with some success. Is that so? I wonder if I could enlist your services. Could you aid me with my calcularian duties whilst I continue to examine these automatons? I hate to neglect my duties as both are of some urgency. Obtaining the oil is tantamount, yet an understanding of the bound will prove invaluable in the fight ahead. In all honesty, Mrs. Lovelace is a bit frightening on occasion. I'd prefer not to upset her. I am at your disposal. 
My days of pilfering charnel houses are behind me, but to examine life, we must first have recourse to death. A surfeit of samples taken from the from all bound classifications will prove essential. The innards that sustain their inan their animate state. Knowing progress is being made on that end will take a weight off my shoulders and afford me the break from mental misery needed to impel my knowledge of the automatons. By the time you return, I should have ascertained more details in their bishops. Let's hope for all our sakes. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Oh, little bell. I'd like a little bell. What's that? Okay, I think we do the Fate Tower. Is that a tent? Alright, let's head towards it. Are we ready for this? God, we should refresh our food, that's for sure. How's our gear looking? Ain't well. Probably have to repair that in the middle of the fight. The axe. Spooky. Oh, there's a blade guy. Oh, blade guy. Oh, there's two dudes. And there's a bumble deer. May as well tag him while we can. Okay, how are we going to do this? Let's try and kill the bombardier. Where did they go? He's so fast. He's so fast. You can hear him like gaining. Okay. He must have turned around. What the? Like at some point they turn around. 
Ah, da bist du. See, I'd like for him to turn around. Ooh. Because I'll kill him. But I can't kill him if he's right behind. We gotta, like, peel him off somehow. Or at least... Okay, let's not take any pot shots. Let's just try and outrun him. And the second we see... See, he didn't turn around this time. Where's... There you are. We gotta do drive-bys. We gotta let our stamina recharge. Where'd he go? Who's over there? Peace out. How is he there? How is that guy so close? Can we to finish? Also a bad shot. Or we could try and melee him. There's only two of them left, so Stamina. Okay, let's make some distance. I think we'll have to take care of that, uh, the straggler first. Otherwise, we're spending too much stamina either dodging or blocking or. Do I not have ammunition? <clears throat> kind of unfortunate, but um, other dudes like right behind. We 
can't let ourselves get caught in mailing with them because we'll get ourselves destroyed. to go fight in the shade. <laughs> oh. He doesn't like the shade, I guess. Give it a second, because, uh... Ooh, we need to farm some essence. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to pick up all this stuff. We should probably farm some salt as well. Why are they here? Do they pick up trash? Okay, floor two. Here we go. Bring out our food too. We need to do a refresh in a second. Does that mean they're going to come around from this side? It's like they figure out, like after we cross this middle line, they figure out that the shorter path is on that side. And then they lose track of us. So we can actually stop here in the, in the middle, on the outside, on the other side. And give ourselves a reprieve, but does that refresh their health?
Oh, and a bombardier, which we need to take care of. Yeah, at some point we outpace them, where they think that the other side is somehow the shorter route. Because I guess the computer assumes we're going to continue to go in this direction. They basically try to cut us off. Look at all. Oh, let's, uh, let's miss. That was a hell of a hip shot. I ain't take credit for it. I ain't taking credit for it though, that was that was lucky. Oh, he put shot. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Run, run, run. <laughs> run, 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 run. Heard that sword happening. We need stamina. We need stamina. Let's go. We got the bombardier. Man, there's one more floor on top of this too. This is oh, Ooh, yes. Yes, this guy shaw. This on. Duh. Okay, okay he's like. Surprisingly far away. Oh, how do you get to? Oh, he is running. He is running. He caught up pretty fast. Get away, dude. Don't want to play with you yet. Take you on in a second. Okay, I think he spun her around. Oh, there's a straggler. Okay, we got one. Oh no, beetles are getting too close. We're getting tired. <sighs> 
are we going to deal with the fatigue? Ooh. These things, they're just going to be in the way. We can't do our circle, which is okay, that's fine. We can't really involve them in the fight, that's just going to make us even more tired. They despawn. I think they might have despawned. <laughs> yep, they despawned. Ah. Oh. Let's do this. Let's let um... Okay, we need six sticks. Alright, sticks. Let's sleep. We're gonna have to deal with these guys all over again. Damn it. Oh, good. Okay, they didn't despawn, thankfully. They're still here. Gotta kill the uh, this guy first. Oh shit! That's really weird behavior. Oh. food. Stop taking my stuff. Come attack these. Oh, out of block. 
Okay. Let's pull back. Those misses really hurt. Floor. One more floor. <sighs> we should sleep till morning. Before we do any of that. We do have a problem in that we are uh, down to no food. And so instead of forcing a fight and trying to win it in nine minutes, like eight minutes, let's um let's get out of here. Ooh. Okay, um That's not what I want to see. I want to see we got a bunch of tier 1 essences, which we could just skip the whole, I don't know, the whole Fate Tower thing and just go buy the essences we need. But, let's do this real quick. Uh, what seeds do we have? We didn't get back a spinach. Um, let's see, do we have a spinach? And a chamomile. Alright, stopping in, gonna drop off all our, our goods. And then um, get to cooking and then get right back to it.
just realized something. We can make a better hat. You've got the weathered hat. Let's let's make this right now. Let's see, we need felt and refined fiber. Let's use swamp fiber. Let's see, do we do a prey pelt? Let's do a prey pelt. Where's, where's all my stuff? damage and ranged rating that's interesting sure okay i'm down i'm down let's um let's go to the little juice Alright. I mean it's not it's not much that much better than this one, but hey. Oh, we have a crap ton more range damage. Very interesting. Okay, I can dig it. Did we just destroy this? Do we need it? So I'm wondering if we just don't even bother finishing that. We just go talk to the essence trader and see what we can buy, because I'd, I'd forgotten that I'd done a lot of uh, farming to find that hat specifically. And I basically... Okay, so there are a few things, like a, that hat, and I think the trapper's hat, you can't buy them. Essence traders. You can only find them in dwarves. So the only real way to, to get them is to go do a bunch of PLO. Sometimes you get on your first one, sometimes it'll take a lot to do when I deal with them. It's a cool looking tower thing. Charmer. 
essence. Okay. Oh man, we got we got a ways to go. Oh, this is quite a sight. We need to go down there. We need to go down there and take a look. First, let's talk to the trader. Oh, this guy's gonna bother us, I know it. Okay, infusion, endurance infusion. Let's just get it all. Crude sundial. Stone advanced walls. Ooh. Okay. Think we're good? Let's go down here. How do we get down here? Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. We just do this. How do we get falling impact? Oh. Oh, we're stuck. Let's crap out here. Oats. Cool. Ooh, a little bed. Let's take a quick snappy snap. Oh, there's like a little ramp thing. Oh. It's more fun to jump down anyways, right? That looks suspicious, but I know it's nothing. Is there anything else down here? Nah. You know, let's get up to this tower, see what's up here, and uh, probably call it for the episode. So that took us quite a while to get up here. I didn't realize it was quite as tall. Um, we're actually particular ground. We're taller than the Fate Tower. Well, at least from the, the top floor. And we're about as tall as the back one up there. Which also is pretty cool to climb. But yeah, figured we didn't need to do that Fate Tower at all. Uh, since we already have uh, most of the resources we need. So we don't need to necessarily farm. Uh, we could do the some of the um, some of the POIs just to like just to scrape the uh, whatever designs there are, whatever blueprints are available here. But you know we don't have to do that in camera. That's kind of a tedious slog, to be perfectly honest. Sometimes because you have to go from spot to spot and just you know do the melodies, etc. So. It's not a bad thing, you should definitely do it, but you don't need to watch me do that. Just wanted to kind of show off the uh, desert astrolabe here, and um, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch you all in the next episode, alright? Peace.